Well, she's a Southern Californian who was Miss Iraq in 2017, but faced death threats for posing for a photo with Miss Israel. We brought you this story for the very first time back in December of 2017. NBC4's Ted Chen spoke to the former beauty queen about the backlash she now faces for speaking out against the Iraqi government. Hi, everybody. I'm here with my friend, Miss Iraq. When Miss Iraq Sarah Idan became friends with Miss Israel, a dark annalsman at the Miss Universe pageant in 2017, taking a selfie with her that went viral, she told me then how unprepared she was for the death threats that forced her family to leave Iraq. Today, she told me how shocked she was when things got worse. When they refer to Jews as monkeys, as pigs, and they say they are not humans, that's when I realized, okay, there's a problem. It transformed her from pageant contestant to political activist. As she continued her friendship with Ms. Israel, she became convinced of a growing anti-Semitism that wasn't just from extremists. I am Sarah Edom, Ms. Iraq 2017. At the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva last month, Idan criticized the Iraqi government for cultivating anti-Semitism and for being too cozy with Iran. It's deeply rooted in the belief system taught in Muslim countries which are anti-Semitic. Because of that speech, she says Iraqi journalists informed her members of the Iraqi government were now trying to strip her of her citizenship. I'm enraged. I'm, I'm angry and I'm going to fight for it. I'm not going to let these people uh, try to erase who I am. We called the Iraqi consulate in Los Angeles about Idan, but were unable to reach anyone. Idan says she's also asking the Trump administration for help and support, but she says she's not going to stop. I will always be the voice of the Iraqi people and a voice for reason and for peace. Every time I said something, it seemed to either anger people or make them very or make them very happy. Any regrets? And, no, not a single regret. Ted Chen, NBC4 News.